sunny day isn't it today so let's say hello to everybody shall we get our hands ready to do our big waving are we ready hello everyone hello everyone hello everyone it's good to see you here hello everyone hello everyone hello everyone it's good to see you here hello everybody let's wave a big wave Yay! Now then, now we'll light our candle, shall we? Have you got your candles ready? We're going to light our little Will's candle. See, this didn't work last week either. There we go. There we go. So you let your candles and we'll put them all somewhere safe, won't we? So that we don't knock them over or bump into them and then it's time to say our prayer so who has got wiggly elbows this morning oh can we wiggle our elbows what about wriggly tummies who's got a wriggly tummy this morning what about a wriggly can we do a wriggly chin can we make our chin wriggle up and down like this it's a bit more wiggly mouth isn't it what about our wiggly ears got wiggly ears and our wiggly fingers and our wiggly thumbs and shall we put them together with a great big clap and then we'll say our prayer everyone is special to God so thank you God for work and play and everyone who's here today amen well done everybody that was a great amen I wonder, today we've got a friend to help us to tell our stories over the next few weeks. This bear is Teddy Paul. Say hello to everybody, Teddy Paul. Hello, everybody. Teddy Paul is going to help us over the next few weeks tell our stories because we're going to talk about what all the things that he did in his life, in Paul's life, a man in the Bible. And he learned all about Jesus and we're going to tell that story about how he learned about Jesus today and then after he'd learned about Jesus he went everywhere telling everybody all about Jesus's love he did just that thing that Jesus told everybody to do can you remember when he was on top of the mountain and he told them to go and to tell everybody everywhere how to be part of God's family and how to follow Jesus well that's just what Paul did and so Paul did all of that and we're going to learn all about that and Teddy Paul is going to help us to tell that story a little bit later on so we'd sit him there 
Now, first of all, do we think we can pull a really mean face? <clears throat> can you pull a really mean face? I wonder what sort of face that is. There we go. And can we pull a really kind face? A really nice face, a face that says, I love you. So we're going to play a little game and let's see if we're going to say it's a mean thing to do or a kind thing to do. I wonder if sharing our things is a mean thing to do or a kind thing to do. It's a kind thing, isn't it, to share our toys? What about punching or kicking? Is that a mean thing to do or a kind thing to do? It's a mean thing, isn't it? It's not very kind or very nice to punch or to kick, is it? What about giving somebody a hug? Is that a mean thing to do or a kind thing to do? It's a kind thing, isn't it? Well done. What about snatching something off somebody? Is that a mean thing? or a kind thing. It's a mean thing, you're right, that's right, it's mean. It's not very nice, is it, to snatch something off somebody. What about giving a present to somebody? Is that mean or is that kind? It's kind, isn't it? Well done. Well, the story about Paul is about when he was mean, and when he became kind. So we're going to tell that story all about Paul. He wasn't a very nice man to start with. He was very mean. He was really mean to all the people who loved Jesus. And that was very, that made them all very sad and very scared because he used to go around in the towns catching them and finding them and putting them in prison and locking them up. That wasn't very kind, was it? That was a very mean thing to do, Paul. So he did all of this and kept on doing this and the people were a bit frightened of him. But you know what? God loved Paul and he had a plan for him. And I'm going to read our story about when Paul meets Jesus from our Bible, big Bible story book. So come on, T Teddy Paul, let's sit and have our story. Are we ready? You can help the boys and girls, can't you, learn about Paul? So Paul was not a follower of Jesus. He didn't love Jesus at all. He didn't know Jesus. In fact, he hated Jesus. He was very mean to people who did love Jesus. But God was with Paul all the same and he loved him just the same as he loves everybody else. Now one day Paul was on his way on a journey to Damascus. That's a big town where lots and lots of Jesus's friends lived. And he thought on his way, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to put them all in prison and I'm going to stop them talking about Jesus. But God wanted Paul to be his friend just the same. So off marched Paul to Damascus and suddenly, suddenly there was a really bright light flashed all around him and he fell to the ground and he heard a voice that said, Paul, why are you trying to hurt me? I wonder who that voice was. What do that voice belonged to? Let's have a little think. Can you have a think and tell whoever you're with? Who do you think it belonged to? It belonged to Jesus. It was Jesus talking to Paul. Jesus said to Paul, go to Damascus and you will find out what to do there next. Well, can you imagine what a shock Paul had? He was going to be mean to all of Jesus' friends, wasn't he? 
But Jesus talked to him. And then Paul was different. He had met Jesus. And now he didn't hate Jesus, but he loved him. Now he didn't want to get rid of Jesus' friends and put them all in prison. He wanted to be Jesus' friend as well. Even when Paul hated Jesus, God was with him and wanted to be his friend. Isn't that amazing? So even though Paul was really mean to God in the first place, God still loved him and helped him and told him and helped him to change. So he changed from a grumpy, mean man into a kind and loving man. And he started then to tell everybody that story of how Jesus had changed him inside and out and how much Jesus loved him. Well, thank you, Teddy Paul, for sitting with us while we had our story this morning. Will you come back next week to tell us a little bit more about the journey that Paul went on? I will. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week. Put you there, then, because we're going to do some singing now. Are we ready? We're going to sing God loves you and you and you and you and me. We do lots of pointing, can't we, to everybody in the room? Are we ready?
dancing. Now, shall we sit down? We're going to say a prayer and then we're going to sing our blessing song. So let's have a sit down with everybody. We're going to hold hands. Perhaps, Teddy Paul, you'd like to hold my hand today. Oh, thank you. So we're going to say our prayer. So let's put our fing wiggly fingers together with a great big clap and we'll say a prayer. Jesus, thank you that you love everybody, even people that are mean to you. And that when we say sorry for being mean, you forgive us and you help us to love other people. So Jesus, we ask you to help us to be kind to people today. Amen. Well done. So let's sing our blessing song. Are we ready? Let's hold our hands and we'll sing. have one big blow. Let's see, shall we? One, two, three. Yay, look, there we go. There's smoke going all around us. It reminds us that God is all around us, isn't it? He goes with us wherever we go and whatever we do. Lovely week in the sun. Bye!